Welcome back to Campus Countdown. I'm your host, Emily Sturge, and today we'll be discussing inflation and tuition hikes that make life unaffordable for many students, a university that spent over $200,000 on LGBTQ plus initiatives, and a university's history department that is offering a course in angry white male studies. We will be covering these three stories and more on today's episode of Campus Countdown. In our third story this week, inflation and tuition hikes make life unaffordable for many students, resulting in claims that students are actually becoming homeless. The Iowa Board of Regents announced it will increase tuition by 4.25% for the 2022-2023 school year as inflation hit a record high of 9.1% in June, according to the Consumer Price Index. During a recent Board of Regents meeting, Iowa State University graduate student Rachel Sorensen claimed she became homeless over the summer due to the rising cost of living. Sorensen stated, We're having students who are actually homeless in the summer and they're trying to raise extra money at this point to pay their tuition. University of Iowa Student Government Senator Kyle Clare told Campus Reform his perspective, stating that he thinks the bigger problem here is inflation. Claire also stated the best way to help our funding problems would be for the university to identify unnecessary spending and cut that before they raise our rates. In our second story this week, a university spends over $200,000 on LGBTQ plus initiatives. Here with all the details on that story is campus reform correspondent Nicholas Boffman. Indiana University is currently spending $208,700 on 10 queer initiatives at five IU campuses. These projects include a gender-affirming closet on campus where LGBTQ students can go and get free clothes to help match their perceived gender identity, including dresses, tops, bottoms, bras, shoes, outerwear, and even accessories like headbands and bracelets. Medical care initiatives funded by IU include access to gender-affirming hormone therapy in an LGBTQ plus study speaker series that includes video tutorials such as binding for beginners, period advice for trans guys, and everyday makeup tutorial for trans women. Essentially, IU is pouring a massive amount of money into these LGBT programs that certainly does not prepare young adults for the workforce. Colleges and universities would better prepare and serve students by helping them fund their education with academic scholarships or by implementing other resources to prepare students for their careers rather than funding programs that make it easier and sometimes encourage students to change their gender. In our top story this week, a university's history department is offering a course in angry white male studies. The University of Kansas will be offering a course in fall 2022 that will explore the supposed prominent figure that is the angry white male. Kansas Congressman Ron Estes condemned the class, saying that instead of a course to unite people and empower women, KU has decided to offer a class that divides the student population and could pose a Title IX violation by creating a hostile campus environment based on gender. Title IX states that on the basis of sex, no person should be subject to discrimination under any education program receiving federal funding. Masculinity is under attack on college campuses, and there is a general assumption pushed by academics that masculinity is toxic and leads to destructive behaviors. It is rare to see a campus program that praises the virtues of masculinity, such as men protecting and providing for their families. Now it's time for the woke tweet of the week. University of California Berkeley law professor Kiara M. Bridges accused Senator Josh Hawley of being transphobic at a Senate Judiciary Committee hearing. Hawley questioned Bridges' phrasing of people with a capacity for pregnancy, asking her if what she was referring to was a woman. Bridges responded by claiming there are also trans men who are capable of pregnancy as well as non-binary people. Hawley wrote on Twitter, The Democrats say what they really think. Men can get pregnant, and if you disagree, you're transphobic and responsible for violence. That wraps up this week's edition of Campus Countdown. 
To read about these stories and more, visit campusreform.org. Remember to like and subscribe here on YouTube as well, and you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Campus Reform. I'm Emily Sturge. Thanks for watching Campus Countdown.